Perfect. Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing some draggy runs, but we're going to be doing uh, 60 to 100. So the purpose of this video is to see how fast, obviously, the car goes 60 to 100. But I'm also asking you guys, if you do have a draggy, to compare what your car does 60 to 100. I'll give you all the mods my car has. That way you can see if it's comparable, if your car is doing the same thing my car is doing with the comparable mods. So let's get into the mods the car has. This car right now is Fearable Stage 3 Tune on 93. I run a RV6 CATA downpipe, a PRL front pipe, and the rest of the exhaust is completely stock from the rest of the way back. So just a CATA downpipe and a front pipe, variable stage three. I still run the factory intercooler, but that doesn't really matter on a day like today because it's in the 30s. I also use a Mishimoto cold air intake, which I can show you what that looks like. Some of you have seen my channel and know, but for those of you who are new, I'll show you. So I run the Mishimoto intake. The oil catch can is Mishimoto also, which doesn't really add performance, but it's there. And I run the manual six speed top mount. So that would make everything just a little bit stiffer, nothing too crazy. So that's pretty much it as far as performance modifications go. I'm gonna show you how to set up your draggy to be able to do 60 to 100 if you don't know. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so this is how you do a custom setting on your draggy. For instance, if you wanna do a roll and you wanna do like a 60 to 130, which is already preset, you can do anything 50 to 100 30 to 50 miles an hour whatever you may want to do this is how it's done so in the main screen over here you're gonna to go to this plus arrow and then you're gonna see all the defaults of all the different settings that you can check off now you go to the top right custom mode and then you click add on top and then you can put for instance I'm gonna be doing today 60 to 100 mile an hour runs so you would enter in your 60, and then you would do your 100. Not 108, 100. And then you would save it. So now that is your new, one of your new um, presets. So basically, once you get to the speed, it'll automatically start timing the 60 to 100 mile an hour. So now after you've done that, you just go back to your home screen, touch here, and you're ready to go. Okay, so now that your draggy is all set up, I also urge you to turn off your traction control fully because that, that way, especially if you have a tune, it won't allow VSA to have any interference with producing boost. That way you'll get the maximum power, zero interference from the VSA. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So now we're gonna fully disable traction control. So with your foot on the brake, you're gonna go on off you're gonna pull your e-brake you're gonna go on off foot off the brake on off foot back on the brake on off now your traction control is fully disabled so now that you're all set up I'm all set up I've already done the runs so I'm gonna show those for you real quick. So I'm gonna play those. I did three runs, 60, 100. The numbers seem good to me, the car's pulling good, but without a comparison to other cars with similar mods or, you know, some more stuff done or whatever, and roughly in the ballpark. So I'd like you guys to put in the comments what you guys are getting. That way we can see how well my car runs. You can compare how well your car runs. And sometimes one car just performs better than another with the same exact things based on conditions like today. My conditions are very good, so I'm aware of that. Low, low temperature, the DA is very low, so not a lot of humidity. So that, that's, that's all good things to make the car run pretty quick times. So I'm going to play those video, those clips for you right now.
have to do in those runs. You can see the car was pretty consistent. I got a 6.32, a 6.22, and a 6.36. All consistent numbers. I'm pretty happy with those from by the way it feels. Like I said, if you guys can put up your numbers on something similar, that way we can see you know, which car, how the cars are actually running, which ones are running better with the mods that we have. So that's pretty much it. I thought this would be a cool video, kind of like a cool little challenge for everybody. Winter time's here, you really can't do that much. I'm kind of stagnant with the car right now because I don't even want to be outside. The weather's been crappy and everyone's getting sick, including myself recently. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments on my car or anything done to the car, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them gladly. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.